nine, nine months, and Sam was incredible. I had the worst morning, noon, night, midnight, and every other moment in between sickness. Mm. Sam comes out at 9 or 10 o'clock saying, Babe, um, don't alarm you. I have these um, weird sensations, weird pains, and nothing that she's felt before. So I was like, okay, um, monitor it. I'm still watching the game. <laughs> and it was very calm. I did, it didn't feel like anything at that point because I knew baby was only going to come the week after, yeah. and nothing was going to happen before then. I had that in my mind. So. I was ignoring these cramps and I found it odd that they were coming every 10 minutes and lasting a minute to the dot. I remember like half past 3.30 in the morning, we were like, Sam, you're going to the hospital now. Because I kept saying, let's go to the hospital, let's go to the hospital. And she's like, no, it's not later, we can go in the morning. So we get to the hospital at half past five, uh, straight to maternity ward. And at the first inspection, the nurse tells me I'm four centimeters, three centimeters dilated. And baby was coming. Yeah. And I'm like, I told you so. <laughs> I didn't I didn't even have time to get the camera ready. And the next thing is like, the doctor's like, Wesh, are you ready to get the video? I'm like, what? I'm busy talking and I didn't even think you guys even started because Sam That's kept surreal. saying that she could still feel, I could feel stuff and they had already cut her open putting the cam. She said, said, please just do like a scratch test first to make sure I definitely can't feel anything. <laughs> 827 at 2.79 kgs and 50 centimeters long was our beautiful baby girl, Riley Aria. But Amesh just transitioned so smoothly into fatherhood. It was like you were always meant to be a dad. I know you didn't know much to begin with, but mm. you just found your way so effortlessly. I mean, I wanted to be such an open mind child um, and like inquisitive. And I'm already planning like five, six years now. It's like I want to book in already for so many lessons and like we're going to go play golf together. We, before we could decide on a name, she was known as Sprout. So I used to talk to her in the room, to call her as Little Sprout. Well, Riley is a name that's somehow always been on my heart since I was about maybe 13, 14. I just heard the name once and it never quite, I never quite shook it. It's always been in the back of my mind. And when I told Amesh for the first time, while we were dating actually, um, Oh babe, I quite like the name Riley for a kid and he actually took to it. And then I brought it up again when we um, were thinking about names for baby and yeah, he loved it. What I loved about the name um, was the meaning behind it. It means valiant and courageous and brave and that's everything I would want my daughter to embody. Mm -hmm.